Before it was called Frozen, what was the working title of Disney's 2013 monster hit about two sisters and their icy kingdom? Yes, Keegan. Two girls, one snowman. <laughs> yeah, Joe? Uh, Snow Whiter. <laughs> Snow White 2, Snow Whiter. Another Hans Christian Andersen tale that's definitely not queer coded, so nobody look it up and it's fine. <laughs> Have you heard the story about how he like camped out at Charles Dickens' house for like six months? <laughs> <laughs> no, go on. Uh, it's too long to relate here, but essentially, yeah, he just, he admired Dickens, and so he, no, or was it Darwin? Anyway, go look it up. I think this story's made up. Moving he, on. No, he, he, he was a very bad house guest for somebody for about six months, and they could not make him go away. Uh, he was an awkward person. <laughs> Hans Christian Anderson. <laughs> go ahead, uh, Sydney. Edmonton, Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> You put the carrot where? <laughs> Colder than a witch's tit. Anyone? And my grandfather loves that joke. Are there, is, is there anyone over 89? <laughs> I thought it was just an expression. <laughs> Andrew's grandma, are you here? <laughs> cool runnings, but with white chicks. I don't know. That was really bad. <laughs> Wait, does Frozen take place in Jamaica? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Kika. <laughs> the Splendiferous Adventures of Adele Dazeem. <laughs> All right. Very good. Splendiferous. Very good. Uh, the real answer is, of course, Frigid, the princess who doesn't need a man. Uh, <laughs> Hans Christian Andersen, also a feminist. Uh, but uh, the original title was The Snow Queen, which was the title of the original story, and continues to be the title in French, La Reine des Neiges. So there you go. Presumably in other languages, too, because Gelé probably would make for a very good movie title. <laughs>